Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I was about to say it's a beautiful day. It's not a beautiful day, it's pretty gloomy actually, but it's a great day because we're back to training this week. So the last video you would have seen was my last trampoline session for 2020. So that was actually like two days before Christmas. So I've had a week and a half of training back today. We'll see how we go. Might be a little bit sore. Also an exciting day because Dom and I are starting hand balancing classes tonight. It's like advanced hand balancing because obviously we know how to do handstands. Like we have the fundamentals in handstands, but we want to be able to like learn cool tricks and one of my goals for this year is to be able to do a one-handed handstand not against the wall so that's gonna take a lot of practice but I'm super excited because I absolutely love being upside down let's go to training and I'll talk to you guys when I get there it's also Dom's birthday today also I forgot to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year Happy I mean We've started this year off a little bit weird already. New South Wales have just implemented mandatory mask wearing in indoor venues. Happy birthday! 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Hola, thanks. Welcome. Are you excited to wear a mask coaching? Um, I think it's gonna be really hard. Yeah, same. I'm like, I use a lot of expression. It's also really loud in the gym already. But it's for the safety of our community. Yeah, like it's important for sure. <laughs> we don't have to as athletes wear masks, but our coaches do. So we were supposed to go to the AS in two weeks. That camp was cancelled. Whoopsies. Zip. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good kick. Um, because obviously uh, there's been an outbreak and we can't get into Canberra at the moment. We get to stay at home instead. Demo looks happy about the mask situation. You can't tell. Can't tell. What expression? Are you angry? Are you are you sad? Are you happy? You will never know. I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> So we're pretty much doing like drills and then some like just touching on each skill in our routine. All right, tram's done. Now we're just doing a core crusher. feeling birthday 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 24, 24. saying that he's sore after having a week off and I said that's the age that's the age yeah. our joints are sore when you hit as soon as you hit, go over 21 it's like oh my joints hurt I mean to be fair I did 15 minutes of like double mini and tumbling before I started training because that's have done it as well <laughs> well maybe shouldn't have done that Writing my new diary. Radiate so good bad. vibes. Sorry, That's this year's mantra. Fresh diary, it's a good feeling. We always start writing really neat at the start of the year, and then by the end of the year, it's like cursive scribble. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> Dear Dom, Don't read we that hate well. you. <laughs> Um, we hope that you don't come back to training this year. <laughs> uh, I wrote the card, sorry. Is it clothes? Huh? Oh. oh, it's really cool. <gasps> you know me so well. 
That's so fucking cute. He's dropped Thank the other you. present. <gasps> Thank you so much. Are they, are they septums? No. Put them your ears, you idiot. You just nose, got your ears pierced. Eyebrows pierced. They're lit. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Like snake bite. Yeah. There's okay, some you gold hoops. Yeah, you gotta go. yeah nice. Oh, okay, let's go. That lighting is so harsh. And I just spilled that all over me. Yum, the smoothie is so good. It's just the cookie dough protein, a banana, ice, water, and a little bit of almond butter. Training was actually okay. Did I stay fit over Christmas? I must have because I actually didn't struggle that much and I got through the program pretty fast so happy days my body wasn't too sore usually I get a really sore back well it's like really common to get a sore back if you've had a little bit of time off trampoline like once you get back into training but my back wasn't sore and I figured out that if I try and keep my load up while I'm not jumping so over Christmas I was running a lot and just like yeah trying to keep my load up through my body so that it's not like a big shock to my system when I go back to training and I feel like that works for me so <laughs> good to know because no one wants tramp back which is what we call it when you've had a bit of time off training and you get a really sore back I'm just heading home now and then I'm going to work i'm freelancing today so i'll be heading to my friend maddie's to work with her that's about all i have to say it was a bit weird coaches wearing masks i'm gonna have to wear a mask for coaching tomorrow am i excited no it's the yelling for me like it's the i'm very vocal when i coach and i really like to exaggerate and like yell and use expression not yell as in like mean like yelling at them just like i'm loud i'm a loud human being it's gonna be that I imagine like a sweaty situation under a mask and I'm not looking forward to it but you know we do what we got to do just here to do my part for society <laughs> all right I'll see you guys a bit later when I get home to make some lunch one thing I forgot to say guys this morning that has been like an actual game changer for my mental health Sorry, I'm actually puffed out. I've got three flights of stairs to get to my apartment. Yeah, one thing that I've been doing for my mental health that I started doing in the middle of last year is not checking my phone in bed in the mornings. I know it sounds silly, but it's honestly so powerful. I started doing this when we we're in lockdown and every morning I would like roll over and just start flicking through social media, reading the news, reading about case numbers. It was so horrible. It was causing me so much anxiety and stress as soon as I woke up. Having that much cortisol in your system as soon as you wake up is not good. Don't check my phone until I'm like having breakfast or like up and like doing stuff. It's so powerful. Please try it. I've been doing it for so long now that it's a habit and I love it. Even at night, I'll try not to check my phone in bed or like scroll through social media in bed. I'd rather get a tea, read a book. I feel way more zen. So yeah, I highly recommend that you try it. If you do, let me know how you find it. I honestly just have found that it's so much better for how I start my day and my mood for the rest of the day. I'm just going to get ready now. I'm going to have a shower, do my skincare routine. It's a bit echoey in here, but oh well. If I'm training in the morning, I don't do my skincare routine until after I finish training. Like there's no point putting your serums, washing your face, etc., when you're about to get sweaty and dirty. So I always do it after if I have morning training. I think I'm a bit puffed out still. <laughs> I think in my next video, I'm going to do a get ready with me and show you what I'm using on my skin, talk about what I'm doing with my naturopath and my dermal clinician to help my skin. I had really bad hormonal acne when I was like 20 and I still get like breakouts and stuff, but honestly, it's so much better than what it was because of things that I'm doing. Obviously, it's my hormones, so there's only so much I can control, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do my next video on. So if there's anything that you want to know, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer it in the next video. Yeah, I think it's really important. Like I don't put makeup on or anything when I'm doing my YouTube because honestly, it's not realistic. Like I see so much stuff on social media, just like blurred, perfect skin. It's just not realistic. So that's not the kind of vibe that I want to bring to this channel. And honestly, the more accepting that you are of yourself and your like imperfections life gets so much better so i don't want to come on here and pretend that i'm like picture perfect have picked perfect skin all the time because it's just not the case and it's just not realistic so i don't want you to feel like you have to do that either all right i'm gonna go wash this hair and eat some lunch 
Okay, I'm actually running a little bit late, but um, so I don't have time to like make lunch. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to have avo on toast on gluten-free bread. So I'm just having this one that I just get from the supermarket. And then I've got some cooked chicken in the fridge that I was gonna have for lunch, but there's probably two servings there. So I'm just gonna heat up some cooked chicken as my protein. Cause um, your girl will be hungry. Two pieces of this gluten-free seeded coffee. Wow, this is manic. I was taking too long the shower. You know those long showers? I was shaving my legs, I was washing my hair. Next minute, check my watch, gotta go five minutes. So I've just got this chicken leftover, which is literally just like rosemary, garlic, and sea salt. I'm just gonna have two of those. I'm gonna heat that up because I hate cold food. To make my coffee, I just use a French press and a milk frother. Best thing ever. Uh, this is the oat milk that I use for my coffee. It's just the Bristol uh, Minor Fields. Minor? Yeah, Minor. Not minor Fields. Minor Figures. I'm pretty sure this one's fortified with calcium. Oh, so, well, I just realized that's the Barista Edition, which actually doesn't have calcium. The normal one in that brand has calcium. So I'm actually going to switch back to the normal one. Because I don't have dairy, I need the calcium. Like, I need to get calcium in other ways rather than milk and yogurt and cheese. So I, I need to make sure that my oat milk has calcium. If you're dairy free and you have plant-based milks, make sure you check that they're fortified with calcium. Really, really important to make sure that you're getting that micronutrient into your system. Two minutes to go. Hey guys, so it is 5.30. I just got home from work. Like I said, I was just freelancing at the moment. So I was just working with my friend Maddie, uh, building some creatives with clients. I mentioned that in my last video. If you haven't seen it, it was like my last training video and just explained a little bit about my work situation right now while I'm on forced leave from my other job. I am about to make some dinner. Well, I'm going to prep some dinner because I've got my hand balancing class with Dom at seven. So it's 5.30. It's only like around the corner from me. Well, not around the corner, but like in the city and I'm close to the city. So I'm going to leave here at like 6.30, which is usually kind of when I would have dinner, like 6.37. But if I have a full meal and then do lots of handstands, I don't imagine I'm going to be feeling very good. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep some potatoes some eggplant i've already got my chicken that i'm gonna eat tonight i'm gonna prep that and then just have some potato before i go to my hand balancing class because otherwise i'm gonna be starving like my stomach will rumble if i don't eat until 8 30. let's go to the kitchen i'll show you how i'm gonna prep my potatoes and my eggplant the only way the best way do you like my little christmas tree here that my mom got me that it's cute oh you're gonna slice it into like thick ish i better put the oven on I'm gonna put the oven on like mm, 200 and I'm gonna put the grill on the same because I'm gonna do the potatoes in the grill and I'm gonna do the eggplant on 200 in the oven. Thick-ish slices. All right, we've got some olive oil here and just gonna give it a pour. Pour it over the eggplant. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And we're just gonna, wow, my hands are all oily so that's not working. I feel like I'm on a cooking show right now. Welcome to my cooking show. What should we call it? Lee Cooks. Lee Cooks? A Le Cooks. Not bad. All right, we're gonna crack the salt onto the eggplant. This is gonna make it not bitter, okay? It's gonna make it nice and salty, gooey on the inside, crispy on the outside. Right, I'm obsessed with these like brushed potatoes, but they're like really dirty because they're literally straight out of the ground. So you need to give that a real good wash and like scrub it. Just cut them, just cut them into wedges. If you want them like really crispy, okay? You want like crispy chippies, you need to spread them out on the pan. You will see mine are not that. Same thing as what we did with the eggplant, pour the olive oil over, chuck some salt on. You could add like paprika, cinnamon, whatever spices that you want. I honestly just like it with olive oil and salt. I'm gonna put the potato in the grill one, in the bake one. Do not, under whatever circumstances, put the eggplant under the grill. It doesn't work. We're back, we're ready, we're gonna take it out. I can hear them sizzling, so I'm assuming that they're ready. I did turn them at 10 minutes, and then again at maybe 20 minutes, and they've been there for 
25 minutes. Yum, so that's the eggplant. See how it goes like nice and gooey on the inside and then those are the potatoes. So I've just got here literally my potatoes, eggplant and some tomato sauce. And that is gonna be my pre hand balancing class snack. so fun my shoulders are going to be so sore I'm vlogging on my phone right now hence the quality we're up to camera scratch on my youtube channel now so like they notice I know you notice when the camera quality is not as good how you feeling it's also dark it is quite hold dark. on one moment <laughs> that was gonna be my ring light oh whoa better than that's your camera quite, it's like quite intense <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was like a dimmer how are your arms feeling? I'm um, they're so sore. My, I can't move. My I literally can't bend my wrist backwards. So, <laughs> um, yeah, my forearms and my like lats and my traps are gonna be so sore tomorrow. But it was good. We really enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, bye. Happy birthday. Thanks. Guys, that was literally so fun. That handstand class was so good. So it was at the Movement Academy, which is a like a circus gym in the city. Yeah, I literally loved that. That was so good. Uh, definitely gonna go back and yeah, definitely make it like a weekly thing. I'm excited to see how my handstands progress because I feel like I'm gonna be very sore tomorrow, but like so worth it to get stronger in handstands. I'm just gonna have my dinner now and then go to bed because I am extremely tired. <laughs> I was doing a workout a day in the last week and a half while I've been off trampoline training, but then going into two sessions today, whew, I am tired. See this bags under my eyes? I can hardly keep my eyes open right now. I feel very happy right now and very content because that was literally so fun. I'm going to sign this video off. So make sure that if you haven't, that you give it a thumbs up if you like it and make sure to subscribe because I'm uploading new videos every single week. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to comment if there is any video requests that you want to see this year because I'd love to make them for you. Like I said, I'll do a get ready with me in the next video. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.